Hey guys, um, we are back today. We're doing a fast thought and we've got um, Brian and Deb on. These guys are amazing. They're from Pleasure Pods. They are, in case you're thinking about it, they are last year's winners of the CHFA um, award, right? Um, Launchpad award. <clears throat> and so they won this thing in Toronto and um, we, we love these guys and we're around these guys a lot and, and we're very thankful for it. But I think they've had kind of this crazy journey since um, last year at Launchpad. So we thought, Kenny, I thought what we'd do is um, grab Brian and Deb and, and just um, chat a bit about what's happened in the last year. And then you guys are coming back to CHFA. So if you wanna see evolution of product and this kick-ass thing, you gotta come to the show to see that. And for those who want to, or maybe on the fence about nominating themselves, finding stuff to nominate them, you'll probably find out after this to do it. I um, mean, two, if you're on the side where you want to nominate someone, do it. I think these two will tell you that it's probably well worth, um, it's not a long time. So it doesn't take much to do. I mean, just do it. Mm -hmm. Just do it. Yeah. 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 So, what's going on? Post award winner. <laughs> yeah. Like, what do you do? Like, what's going on in the kitchen? Yeah. yeah. No, you go ahead, Brian. Yeah, um, well, it's interesting because right now, um, what we're working on, like today, is rebranding uh, for the industry. Um, you know, what came out of, of our exposure uh, to, you know, from the win, um, we, you know, we've just been able to speak to brokers and distributors and consumer packaged goods experts, everybody, because of that win, everyone is willing to speak to us. I mean, all the doors are open, which is amazing. And I would just put a plug in for anyone who's thinking about it. I, I can't tell you how much it changes your exposure within the industry for us, you know, having had that win. So what's come of it is that we need to rebrand for the consumer packaged goods industry. And um, we have been working on that. Uh, everything we're doing is to be ready for the CHFA in Vancouver so that we can have the whole new look of everything we've been working on. So new packaging. We're also working on a new scent um, so that we would have a second SKU available. Um, the only negative feedback we've received in the last year is there's a small percentage of people who don't like the scent of cocoa chocolate. Um, and there's a very mild aroma to the product because of the natural cocoa in it. So we have been working with our formulator, Vera, to uh, develop another um, another aroma um you just again using all natural uh, ingredients and so she has sourced a very special vanilla uh, from morocco and we're just starting to we, we experimented with it a few months ago but the supply line hadn't really opened up yet mm -hmm. so we now have uh, vera feels that can uh, count on it and um she has uh, given us some material we're, we're starting to work on that um and we are we're redoing our website yeah um we put a lot into a redesign and we're actually working on all the back end you know all the stuff that nobody sees so that it really integrates you know just with everything with the fulfillment side is already looked after um and now we're integrating with all our social media with you know google youtube instagram facebook just getting it to the level where it is like professional you know, not right. not like us originally where we had no idea what we were doing we were just doing our best and now we're we're kind of taking the next step we're building funnels so yeah. they can start really working for us right. yeah that that's right. really important yeah, yeah. go ahead interesting. Yeah. interesting no i i i think um so just watching you guys this year i think one of the interesting things has been um I think it's almost like name and product benefit recognition. Do, do you do you feel like because I feel like when you when you started, you had to explain yourself over and over and over and over and over again, right? But it feels like the industry gets you now. Um, and I don't know if I'm putting words in your mouth or do you know what I mean? Like, but but I wonder, like I wanted to ask you about that mm -hmm. and see how you thought about that. Cause I, I feel like part of um, you know whether it's CHFA or another award is those recognitions seem to just help move brand recognition forward. So you're not getting this like, what are you like? What, yeah. Weird bar thing, you know? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. No, there's no question about that. I mean, I I do a lot of uh, following people on LinkedIn, and uh, you know, being at the show, people recognize us. Um, people know, and like, yeah, some people that I haven't even met just said, "Hey, yeah, I heard you guys were rock stars at that the CHFA. Your your product is unbelievable." Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, just the talk from the show. I mean, let's let's be honest. The CHFA picked um, a product that is very uncomfortable for a lot of people um, to discuss and talk about. Yeah. Um, and especially when you go to a forum like CHFA and you're pitching to about 150 to 200 people and, and the judges. Um, and <clears throat> as, as, as Aaron said to us, you know, a lot of our team, when I picked you guys out of all the applicants and said, this is one that I really want to have as one of the eight finalists, all of them were like, oh my gosh, what are they going to talk about? Like, this could be really embarrassing. This could be, you know, I, I don't know if this is a good idea. And, you know, we, I think, really shined for Aaron to show that you can normalize this and it doesn't need to be a stigma or a taboo, um, especially mm -hmm. as we see women's health becoming more and more prevalent. Well, yeah. um, and it, it is, and that's where it's going. It is just going upwards. And this product really speaks to the women. Um, and when it, especially, I mean, most lubricants that are in the market, um, are really not thought about when it comes to women's health. Um, right. And I'm not saying all of them, but a good majority. Um, and so we've really developed a product that really speaks to women's health. It is wonderful for men, no question about it, but it really speaks to women's health. Um, and, and a lot of it is because we're using such pure ingredients and all natural and no chemicals and all the no preservatives and all those things. So to me, that's really where we have the recognition. And for, again, Brian and I never knowing anything about the CPG industry, being our first dab into it in September at the Toronto show, it has been a mind-blowing experience and learning about it. But what's been really cool is that because we were in the launch pad, and then after our pitch, we went to the little party afterwards that we had in the next room. Mm -hmm. The amount of people that we've met and we've been able to call upon since then has been unbelievable. This one gentleman, I'll just say his name is Chris, and he works for a big organization um, in, in the food industry. And he gave me his card and said, listen, if you, if you need any advice, anything like that, he's a senior director there, please let us know. And... We, we have a call with him tonight. So I reached out to him and just said, I'd love your input on, I'd be more than happy to help yeah. you. And like, you're awesome. not going to get that if you're not in the launch pad. Yeah. Let me just put it there, okay? Yeah. And so I am the first person to be the most advocate for launch pad. I just think it is a phenomenal program and I can't speak higher about it. And one thing I would like to put out to CHFA and the launch pad is that I actually think that they should have the previous people that won the award bring the people up there to bring the next award for the next year. So oh, I nice actually idea. believe that, a... that it, it is something that really yeah, should be done idea. because, yeah, because honestly, we're, we're the winners. We're up there. We're going to be so proud of them. We know what it feels like. So to bring that energy even further into the new person winning it, is it, it just speaks volume. And and I will come back to because I know Don did a great job presenting us and getting up there, but he didn't get our name proper. He there was a lot of things missing. And I and he, he meant well and I and I really appreciate yeah. it. He did his best. But yeah. I just think that a previous winner of the year and idea. it just brings yeah. more notoriety to also the person that was the previous year winner. We, so, we yeah. were talking about this a couple of weeks ago and it, it was like around just kind of a few things to truly show how grateful we are to the industry for for being chosen because it's it's like a blessing i mean you know we spoke to people at in small medium and large large companies and everyone has been willing to get on the phone or on a zoom call 
since then that we have wanted their input or their thoughts or their suggestions or just a conversation we didn't even know where it was going to go everyone has taken our call yeah. and it's only because of the launch pad so you know for if you if you're out there thinking about um applying to this it you know we put hours into it i mean mm. oh, we, yeah. we, we wrote our initial pitch uh we submitted it we we got some questions we responded um and then when we got selected as a finalist i mean we put probably oh, wow. you know 150 hours yeah. into yeah. developing our our presentation and rehearsing it over and over and we again. did we rehearsed it for weeks and weeks because we wanted to go up there and we didn't want to use a piece of paper we want to be up there and professional and knew this and that which i know i appreciated for the people that did go up there and do the same thing um so it was something that we took a lot of pride in and that you should because it is your brand and you should take the pride in it yeah you know um but but the you know but, yeah. but, the, but the exposure I and mean, if you're if you have a new product and you're on the fence put the hours in you know like you know it is so worth it. And, and and I'm sure that the other finalists got, you know, some great exposure as well. I mean, our, our situation is we won. So, you mm -hmm. know, it just slingshot us into. Well, can I bring this up? Because if you talk about other ones, what I loved is when you go to the show, you have a sign up that says yeah. you're one of the finalists. So, and that's what it's like in the booth. So it's a little flag yeah. and it shows. And I was like, Oh my God. So we're getting recognition in the show. You're also getting in the show magazine because you're, you're known as one of the launch pad things. Um, and then when you win, you get another thing and then everyone comes over, you have your award. Like it is unbelievable. And what's even better Vancouver, you're getting $10,000 more than what we got. So yeah. I yeah, they got the prize well, package. <laughs> well, it is Vancouver. Wait, wait, we're an expensive here. city. <laughs> okay. So okay. I got to give you something. The packaging for Vancouver, the winnings is remarkable. Just, you know what it so, is too, but I think that's what people need to understand is the more exposure the actual program gets, the more that the, the sponsorship yeah. and the back end comes to the yeah. table. Because I think again, I, when people understand the benefits of Launchpad and why you do it and why you should spend the time, you know, it's worth it. I mean, it really is. It you is. guys saw it. You probably got more visitation from your booth because of not even yeah. winning, just participating. There's yeah. eight well, of you, and I know because yeah. I mean I, I was obviously I'm on the panel. Everybody yeah. got oh, more yeah. dissertation than they would have gotten without it. Yep. Well, we we got so we gave away 300 samples on Saturday before we were announced as the winner. So there's that was yeah, directly so you know every other all eight of us might have received that you know kind of attention on the Saturday before there was even a winner announced. Exactly. So it was such great yeah. exposure. Yeah. And then, you know, especially at a trade show, I mean, you are, you know, what were there, 900 booths there? Nine, you know, yeah. and, and I mean, so you are so competing for the attention, you know, it's like a, it's so there and gone. And, and it's like the, you know, it, it was just amazing. And then after we won, we, we gave out another 200 samples. I mean, we ran out. We only brought 500 samples to the show. And, and we gave them all away. So we were exposed on that level just as a result. Yeah. It, it's amazing. If you're thinking about doing it, absolutely do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Um, thank you so much. This is the Fast Thought, Brian and Dem. They're going to be back at CHFA West and um, some new stuff coming. Cool. Thanks for doing this, guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys.